Hello, my little French hens. Over to you. Welcome to the uh, Law Parkstone Broadcasting Corporation live from guess where? Oh, lordy. It's the school fix again. Um, I'll do my proper vlog later. I just thought you'd like to see the screw fix sign again. So I've picked up my vent. I've picked up some silicon sealant. Life doesn't really get any better, does it? Speak to you in a bit. So I thought I'd stop on the way back just to show you. I'm at the viewpoint, which is in Upper Parkstone. So as you can see, Pearl Harbor, beautiful. And then um, lower down is Lower Parkstone, of course, um, which is obviously normally where where I normally broadcast from and um, that's why the signals not brilliant sometimes from the uh, lower parts and broadcasting corporation transmitter uh, that I've just made up um, so you can see in the middle there um, Brownsea Island which is very topical at the moment because of course we've had issues with uh, Lord Baden Powell statue on the on the quay um, my own opinion is they should probably just put it into the museum and then replace it with a statue of me. That would be cool, wouldn't it? No. Uh, and believe me, that wouldn't be the first time that I've been in the quay either. So, yeah, just thought I'd show you lovely Pearl Harbour. So, there was uh, there you have it. That was a nice little outing, wasn't it? Yes. So, uh, as the Boy Scouts say, Oh no, that's a Vulcan, isn't it? That's Dr. Spock, live long and prosper. What do they say? Dib, dib, dub. I promise to do my best at something, or promise to wear my vest. I don't know what it is, but anyway, there you go. See you in a bit. Hello again. Welcome to the Lower Parkstone Broadcasting Corporation, back in my garden. How are you guys? What have you been up to? Um, I've had uh, a really busy day for various reasons, um, which I'll go into in a bit. Um, thanks for the course. Good to speak to you all. Um, Ziggy and Ben yesterday. So hi Ziggy, hi Ben, hi Sarah, hi Natalie, hi Lee, hi Ziggy, hi Ben, and hi Ruth. Unlike my vlog yesterday, which was a high roof. <laughs> See what it did there. I've still got it. Um, Good to speak to Taylor as well. Um, spoke to Di yesterday. So yeah, lots of calls, um, which is good. It's good to hear from you all. Um, work for me today. Very disjointed day, but uh, uh, yeah, good day's work. And um, equally, um, I've got to say congratulations because I became a... Um, Grandpapa, papa, pa, pa, grandpa, pa, 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 today. A, um, my daughter gave birth to a lovely little girl called Lily, who was seven pounds, 15 and a half ounces. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and, um, so congratulations to Ellie Jordan and, um, little Lily, who I will be a bit self indulgent today and pop a little picture on. So uh, I know you're all thinking, you don't even look old enough to be a father, let alone a grandfather. Thank you very much, that's really kind of you. Um, I actually feel old enough to be a great-grandfather at the moment, So, um, but seriously, I'm really chuffed um, and um, feel rather bizarre, but uh, as I say, really chuffed. Um, let me know what you're doing tomorrow. Uh, I think the weather's okay -ish tomorrow. I believe uh, originally I thought it was going to be raining. Uh, it's not. So I've been out painting tonight. Finished all the yellow. Huzzah! <laughs> um, still got the gutters to do at the back and the lintels and the windowsill and so on and so forth. Got to clean my roof, which is full of moss. Clean my gutters. <clears throat> you think that's boring? I genuinely have got a really interesting story for you tomorrow night about a brick. And that is a true story. Um, um, we'll come to that tomorrow. Um, so yeah, um, have a great day. Um, joke du jour today. Uh, what do you call a reptile that solves crimes? An investigator. <laughs> An investigator. 
Uh, what else? There was another one. What was my other one? Oh, I can't remember at the moment. I'll remember it in a minute and then stick it on the end. Um, so, yeah, have a great day and um, be safe. <laughs> Okay, so what's the difference between the bird flu and the swine flu? One needs tweetment and the other one needs oinkment. <laughs> Bye.